Hello guys, hello people, welcome back to MC Putoski Talk Show here on YouTube where we react to all videos that comes our way. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening according to your time zone. Ladies and gentlemen, you guys are welcome back to this great platform where we bring you guys the latest happenings around the world, Nigeria in general. If you are on this great platform, please consider to subscribe and Put on the shop bell. Ladies and gentlemen, I bring you guys the latest happening today. So, guys, I'm going to leave the video to play so that you guys can watch the video and also drop your comment at the comment section what you think about this video because everybody is entitled to his or her opinion. So, guys, just look at the top here. Don't forget to share this video to all social media platforms on Facebook, WhatsApp, and Instagram so that everybody will come across this video as well. So, guys. Without wasting much time, guys, let's roll. Dangote owns a refinery. He, uh, the elite, because I don't believe that Dangote owns any re refinery. That a refinery belongs to all of them. Now, them bankroll Dangote. It's not possible. Why? Do you think there's no Igbo man where fits build refinery? Do you think that there have never been any Igbo man who come out and say, let me build refinery? They're not going to give it to Igbo man. They can't give it to Igbo man. Ah! Uh, Bia France, when I get work to do, I'm not going to lie. You have a job to do. The elite wouldn't let it go. I'm telling you. That is why the youth are being killed every day. This fool and the way they kill now, small time. Fulani go enter southeast. When they kill, they go quiet, small. After small time, where they see, say, everything done quiet, they come. The soldiers and the police and the Ibubuangu, they are busy looking for people that are supposed to be saving them. They say ESN, no. I don't want to see ESN. But people are dying. Show me any Fulani when we don't arrest since where they don't they kill for Southeast. Those Fulani will appear once in a month. They will come. When they kill people, they disappear. Nobody sees them. They are not allowed and they don't have, even have the security to tackle those people. Let me tell you guys, this is deliberate. This is deliberate. It is absolutely deliberate. To make sure they go they wound all of Funa for Southeast. Benway State. Make Una check them. And a lot of activities is going on between in these things. A lot of activities they go on. Ah, Nigeria, I'm sorry. Nigeria is a dead country. I'm sorry. I love my motherland. I love the people of Nigeria. But the politicians are not getting they are not they are not making things even better. They are borrowing money. They are borrowing more money and more money. Ah, Niger. No, 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 no. Sometimes I weep for Nigeria. I weep for the generation. I weep for my upcoming children. I weep for my generation to come. Like, I feel like if I have another hemisphere where I feel carry my children and family, go put say, I beg, make could not forget about Nigeria. Stay here, manage this side with peace day. Forget about that country. You feel me? Make una day here. All my children, children, and all that. Forget about Nigeria. I wish like that. I, I wish it's something I can do. Because there's no good road, no electricity. Everything is corrupt, 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 corrupt. Nobody is questioning. Those of you, we see what they pay me now. When I wait come from Cross River and Calabar, where when I get oil. Bayesa, when I get oil. Igbo, Imo state, they get oil. They, why them no fit build that refinery near Una so that Una go employ Una people well, well there? They carry refinery, go put for Lagos. At the end of one Lagos, you see that place where Dangote build refinery? In the, now, the refinery is in operation now. That place na hot cake. You know go fit buy land that place for one million now. 
You can't buy land there one million. That is development. I just don't know job. Ndi boy meru meru ni ha yemi. The governors in Southeast are busy killing their own sons. Just in the name of nature of Biafra, we want freedom. Critical thinking. They are being used. And the governors don't even know they are being used. You are claiming one Nigeria. Make that one Nigeria. Show me one Nigeria, bro. We want a stereotype of a country, not monopoly. You are one Nigeria. Keep quiet there. We don't want Biafra. I, I stand with you if you say you don't want Biafra. Keep me structure, restructure the country. You can't restructure the country. But when you beat a child and tell the child not to talk, you, you, even, you are even killing the child. Not even spanking a child. When a child is crying, you can spank a child and say, Hey, why are you crying? Shut up. But you don't do that. What they do is, When people are talking, you bring somebody with a gun and say, Kill the picking where they cry. That picking where you, they, oh God of creation. You see, I told you guys, this is I don't that is why I stopped talking about Biafra. It's something that is way, way, way over it overwhelmed me. Because when I'm talking about it, it's affecting me. I see people, I see the governors, the all the elites where it come from southeast from Biafra, whether you are from Calabar, whether you are from Bini. All of Funa, we come from that southeast. All of Funa, pata, pata, whether you speak Igbo or not, I see everybody as dim bats. If you actually want to practice one Nigeria, why are you are you not supposed to ask question? Why is it that the Fulani overwhelmed you? Nobody is talking about Imo State. They killed somebody since yesterday. They killed people. And the governor could not come out and say anything. It has been happening like this and they are quiet. Why would some group of people who call themselves whether they are full or whatsoever they are, we go into a community and kill people, human beings, like, what are you thinking? What, I mean, what really comes to your mind, like, you go to the community, you kill children, you kill everybody, you just march them and shoot them. What, what are you thinking? What is the motion? Why are you doing that? You go to Benue State, you go to the community, you kill people, you kidnap some. What is the motion? Why? Is it this is it the same God you are fighting for? Is it this same Allah? Islamic? I, I, I don't understand. Those that give you the religion could not do this to their people. Saudi Arabia. They can't do that to their people. I said, Saudi Arabia? They can't do that to their people. Saudi Arabia is well developed. All of you be Fulani or Aousa, all of you that are Muslim, you are being forced. Muslim is not your father's religion. You abandon your religion because they, you were conquered and enslaved. If you are a Muslim, if you are listening to me, if you are a Muslim, please go and read the history of how Saudi and the Middle East conquer your people. They took us as slaves. Before 14th century, before Oyibo people begin to come to the first man, the first Oyibo will come now, nine, 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 14th century. Now he come when he came. The first people he met was the Arabic people enslaving the black people from Africa. They were taking them to their country for slaves. 
That man, Christopher Columbus, listen to me, let me educate you. You are a Muslim, let me educate you. Christopher Columbus was traveling all over the world. The first white man who stepped feet in Africa is Christopher Columbus, an early 14th century. As he was traveling around the world, he saw where the Arabic people were enslaving the white, the black. He was taking them. They take the one where they could take. If they, if you know grief, if they do, they go carry you give crocodile. I saw. I saw videos they made. A picture, and I saw some videos where be black and white. It's not a movie. Remember. Video camera came at late 17th century upward. By the time it was late 17th, 18th century, where camera come out, those few videos still day where Oibo people call. Remember when Christopher Columbus came, there was no video. When Mary's, Mary, Mary's Lazarus came, there was no video. Later in life, there was in 18th century, the camera began to come out. They begin to come to Africa and shoot videos. And at that time, these Saudi Arabians and Middle East, they are still enslaving the black. Now, let me go back to rephrase and explain to you how Islam came to Africa. If you don't practice Islam that time, they will not respect you. It's like, it's, it's like they use that religion to conquer you, conquer our ancestors. You are forcefully into it like you are not human being enough. In as much as you are black and you still accept that Islam, you are still not good enough. But they manage you. They took us on slaves. Let me explain to you how your ancestors suffered in the hands of Saudi Arabians and the rest of Middle East. When they buy you because they were trading and buying us. They will use you as a gate man in those days. Black man. Now they won't get but oh my God. The worst is did they castrate our fathers that time. Our ancestors, they castrate any man where they see say they young. They go castrate them. Any man where they come out in balls. That man go they huge. You go they big fast fast. You go big head body. When you are becoming old. And you are not useful anymore. They go just buy you and throw away you. That's what they do. They go just ban you and throw away you. Make sure they read history. Then in this 21st century, say, oh, we are the Islamic State. Uh, we are Boko Haram. We don't want uh, foreign education. Meanwhile, there are women in Saudi Arabia are beginning to drive cars. Oh, God, Africa, come on, black people. Why will you do this to us? What is the motion of killing people all over the in, in, in the north? Starting from the north down to Benue State, everywhere. What is the motion? I don't believe that this is what Muhammad taught in the Quran. I don't think so. I don't think so. I love Saudi Arabians. I love Islam. But I don't think this is love. Those who brought the religion to us are not even they are not overdoing things. I want to I want to let you understand one thing. Those of you that are Muslim in in this in that extraction called Nigeria. There's no way you can turn everybody into a Muslim. Saudi Arabia that all of them are Muslim they were born into it. Everybody was born a Muslim. Nobody was converted from Muslim to Christian. It is very easy for them. The law is easy for them right there. Everybody is a Muslim. When the white people also came with Christianity, this is, what, this is, how, they, this is how Christopher Columbus this is how Christopher Columbus discovered that, okay, these black people are just mumu people. 
As these people, they carry them now, go to sell. We too, we can do it. That was how slave came in. Christopher Columbus went back and began to tell people. People began to travel Africa. So, okay, so we can use these people as manpower to build and to farm. That was how they bring Africa. During the time where they bring Africa down to their place, that is it. They begin to drag us between the Arabic people and us. They conquer the Arabic people. Arabic people can't leave us. Oyibo people can't fight each other. Portugal, Britain, France, and the rest of the world, of the, of the country that colonized Africa, they were fighting each other. Come and listen to history. They were fighting each other on territory like, this is my space, so don't come here. If you go to all the slave port of entry, make una go slave port of entry. That thing we see, that iron we see like gun too. So, now in they take fight each other. They were not using it to fight us. They were using it to monitor if any other person, if you see, see any other sh ship where they come. Now enemy, you don't come to conquer us here. Now we the slave this. Now we they carry these people here from here. The most Slave people in the world are West Africa. People from West Africa. Yoruba, Igbo, Bini. I mean, West Africa, the whole Nigeria, except these Fulani people. They were not, they were not part of people that they took on slave. So why am I saying this? Why would you... Why will you kill other people for the name of God that you did not see? This is the world. This is the heaven. This is Alujanna. This is where we are. Where we are is the Alujanna you must enjoy first. Ask your people that go to uh, Saudi Arabia. They are telling you that Alujanna is up there. When you go, when you die, when you go to Alujanna, you are going to see Muhammad. You are going to see Allah. Oh, they are going to give you nice women. Bro, this is your first Alujanna. If you go to Saudi Arabia, they have constant electricity in Saudi Arabia. Good road in Saudi Arabia. Peace in Saudi Arabia. You don't want to see women. In Saudi Arabia, they don't, they don't they get doctor where with the women. What thing they worry you now? Africa, what they draw? They want you to you know, go and conquer everybody in that Africa must become a Muslim. You are fighting for Allah. They give you a gun and you kill your own brothers. Mumu people. I'm not blaming you guys. I blame the Yoruba. I blame Ibu. I blame Ishakiri. I blame people from Ijo. I blame everybody where be Mumu. All of now, now they make, now they carry mass in Namdekanu, they, they do Mumu now. Who be Mumu among me and you? See Ashari Tokumbo. That's animal. Ashari Tokumbo. They are all after money. They are not they don't have people at heart. Uh, this is a manager man. Oh. This is a manager man. Nobody can take that away from me. I'm a manager man. You are a job man. Dangote is building refinery in Lagos. Not in your Ijo land. You can't farm. You can't fish. I'm not saying all this thing so that we can go to war. No. Why don't we build this world? I mean, let us build this heaven that we have. This heaven where we did now. Now it be the first heaven where we did. God will create this world. No, they mad. This world is not coming to an end. If there's any other thing that I can bet with you, forget about what thing they tell you for inside Quran. Forget about what thing they tell you inside Bible. Bro, God will never the owner, the person who created this world, now so it could be. People gonna be now, now, ina. When you come, you go. You come, you go. Thank you for watching that video. We appreciate, and this is where I'm believing you guys. But if this is your first time on this great channel, please do it to subscribe and put on your notification bell so that whenever we upload any video for this great channel 
you will be the first person to see the video. So guys, see you guys some other time.